pipes though. All right, guys, day three. Day three is a cold front, if you can't tell. Uh, Jess is sipping on some warm coffee. Bundled up, I'm bundled up. Uh, when we left, today was supposed to be 66 degrees was the forecast we saw, so we have no service here. But my biggest tip when you're fishing cold fronts, get out of bed in the morning and get fishing right away. Our alarm went off at five this morning. It is 5.52 and we just got to our first spot and we made a long run because we're going to fish our favorite part of the lake today. So that's pretty exciting for us as well. But if you're fishing a cold front or you get a cold front, start early, get out, get fishing before that cold front, I always say, kind of sets into the water. We had this cool come in overnight. So get up, start fishing in the morning and you're going to probably see some really good action right away and it's going to get tougher as the day goes on. You'll get one more bite generally right at sunset. So enough talking, on to fishing. I kind of wanted to just drive by like cruise down the shore and we're not far from our spot. coming real 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 keep reeling keep reeling okay keep her out of the kicker Keep coming. You're doing good. Yeah, okay. Keep coming. Got her. That is wild. That is wild. You literally must have just chucked it back. Oh, I just engaged the reel. Roller. <laughs> we literally were like, okay, we fished probably what five or six of our best spots. Yeah. We, we're not our top of the top, so we're making our way through the lake. And I'm like, all right, let's just throw the boards out. We got our major in three and a half hours. Just wanted to look for some new spots. And the best way to find new spots, trolling, cover water, put the kicker in. There's no map of this lake, absolutely zero. So we're learning every day. We use the auto chart to find little points and dips and shelves. Side imaging is huge here as well. So we're just trying to find new water and uh, we just left a spot that we know is really good and this fish was maybe 150 yards past it. So this is now just an extension of that spot. We should fish it further down we know. Didn't even get the second rod in the water. That was crazy. So Jess <laughs> is gonna crazy. pull her out and uh, yeah, nice.
All right, cold front. What do you think? White window. <laughs> it is 7:30. We're going back to casting, is that what you're saying? Nope. <laughs> she is not one of the underwater. <laughs> There's a lazy follow. Really? Mm hmm. One side. This is probably the fish that Jess just missed. You can see the highlight there. The shadow here. Yeah, I know. You set the hook good. And then you guys seen as soon as she set the hook and missed the fish, she dropped her rod tip and just started burning that thing in really fast. And generally, shouldn't say generally, but sometimes you can get that fish that nips at the bait if that if your lure takes off right away. They'll come back in on it really hard and you can, you can sometimes get them in the eight. That one came into the boat, it just came in kind of lazy, but if you get nipped, drop that rod tip and you'll start freaking burning. Musky on side. can see this shadow it's actually with that fish right there so you see that highlighted yellow piece that's the actual fish and then here Jesse casted back at it there's the original mark Jesse casted back at it fish came in lazy and deep now she's throwing a suet back at it All right. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Ta taking a break from musky fishing. We are uh, loaded down with stuff. We're going to a little portage lake. We just had a little walk. And uh, we're going to cut some walleyes. And a little nap. Oh, yeah. We did definitely have a nap. That cold front's kind of set in for the afternoon. So we're going to try and see if we can poke some Canadian walleyes. Change it up a little bit. Which one are we taking? Okay, push this boat in and uh, go catch a walleye, maybe 10. Like we're coming back for the, we're coming back for sunset though. We're not gonna miss sunset for, for muskies. Not gonna pass on that. First pull. First trick is to just not light up on the gas. <laughs> <laughs> what are you working with here, like a 9.9? Nice. Four strokes. No biggie. There we go. On him. Little. There it 
is first walleye took about three seconds second spot so okay The boat. There are some big walleyes in here, eh? Yeah. I haven't gained any ground on this fish yet. Nice walleye. Really nice one, actually. <laughs> yeah! That there's a good one, boys. Right there in the schnoot. Nice fish. Not really, uh... What I was expecting, but they haven't caught a nice candy wall in a while. Emily's got one on over there. It's 25, 24, 25 inch here. See ya. There we go. That's the one we marked. Helix 5, baby. A nice one, too. This one's actually maybe bigger. Definitely bigger. Yeah, yeah. I'll show you guys the secret weapon. A little orange and copper jig. Another nice fish. Jesse's driving. She's putting me on them. <laughs> I think, I think Jesse needs to put on the copper gold or the copper That's orange. That's the freaking one I picked up. Yeah, I know. Self, but but too bad. Nice fish. Okay, let's just see if it's actually the. Oh, I just coughed up. Oh, that's my minnow. He's just trade rods. Oh, you want to trade rods, huh? Let's see if it's scale or color. <laughs> Marked him on the old Helix that's 5. One, There's one right there, yeah. Yeah. You got all this fancy side imaging stuff. Sometimes you just need your standard 2D sonar, you know? As far as a rod, you got a 7.6 medium fast, 4,000 die with the Tula, 12 pound braid to 12 pound fluorocarbon leader. It's just my rip and wrap setup, is all it really is. Had a girl. Nice. Looks like a good one. Oh, yeah. Yes. So is it the jig color? Or? Look at it. It came out though. Oh my god. <laughs> Choked. Hey girl. Choke city. Yeah. Got a girl. Nice. What are we doing now? Let's get fishing. Oh boy. Oh. 
Alright. No muskies tonight. We did get a muskie this morning. Oh gosh. If you <laughs> we got a muskie this morning. <laughs> kind of figured, uh, but fun day of fishing walleyes. Thought we were going to get maybe a bite tonight at sunset. Didn't happen, but fun day. And we'll see you guys on day four.